Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join us, well, on a great journey north, in a much better position than we were previously. We are at least not actually dying of hunger or thirst or whatever, you know, yet. And we have a destination in mind, this crossroads up here. Head up this road, loop round to here, and we are almost at Recon Bunker Theta, which we need to get to because... I'm not sure, there was some implication that like, someone had been taken there for interrogation, but they'll probably be dead by now, but we need to get a note off their corpse that will point us somewhere else. <laughs> probably somewhere else incredibly dangerous and ludicrously out of the way. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised to see um, Fort Hagen show up, because of course I did nip over there, and there was a vertebrate up on the roof, so that's possible. However, getting there might be a bit on the tricky side. Because I can't just follow the road, dead ahead of me is a crashed army convoy, and inside that is a robot. So, we need to find another way around. Now, unfortunately, yeah, the slog's around here, but unfortunately that's ghoul central. And I don't want to be pinned against the water, because I don't want to go into the water, because rads. Rads is one of the things I could do without. However, if I head over here to the left of the road, there's another problem. Which is, there's a different listening outpost. Bravo, the one where you meet up with Dance in the base game. Problem is, anything that's like that, that's vaguely military-ish, tends to be, yeah, a little bit on the uh, US Army remnant -y side in Frost. And there's another problem as well. Which is, let's just vaguely head in that direction now. Because, yeah, we need to get around that Lieutenant Gutsy. Down, oh. Wait. Found? 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 Okay, fine. Something found me, but it seemed to be cool with me, so that's fine. Oh, it's just a wounded dog. Right, well, I've got bad news for you, wounded dog. Um, it's about to get worse. So, there we go. Lovely. I will be having the meat off your corpse. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, um, the thing about uh, listening out post Bravo is it has an actual helipad. Or rather, a vertebrate pad, I suppose. Well, I guess it was a... Wait. Are there even helicopters in Fallout pre-war? Ooh, I don't know, you know. Yeah, somewhere around here, there's, well, either a vertebrate or a helipad, however you prefer to phrase it. And that means there's a very real possibility that there'll actually be a vertebrate on that thing. Because landed vertebrates that take off when they detect you and then come and hunt you down, that's totally a thing. Except I think we can see the pad from here. I think that's it, dead ahead of me. Just through the mist. And it doesn't seem to have a vertebrate on it. And indeed, the brackets seem on the calm side. Fine, I see a couple of turrets over there. But I don't see anyone actually... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. How tough are those things? Okay. Soft enough I could take them out and have a little Luxy inside, at the bare minimum, I'd say. Right, one hit there. And there's a second. And that's you dead. Now, when you say searching, are people searching? Or is it just turrets searching? Because if it's just turret searching, that's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay for the time being. Aside from the fact that we do have slight issue of this is ammo that I don't really want to waste, but... Oh, hang on. Oh, that one's much softer. Fine. Right, dead. Undetected. Back over to pistols. And let's just watch these brackets for a second here. Because that could give me... Okay. Some things. Also, I think I'm over capacity thanks to the fact of, yeah, I'm no longer drinking booze. Oh, and I'm also out of vodka and whiskey. That's a concern. Panic averted. I've got something else. It's fine. Down we go. Let's have a little look, see what we got here. Because if there's no vertebrate, yeah. Ooh. And I've leveled up too. <laughs> I don't think this is going to stand. There's something else in here. I don't trust it. But I tell you what, if I'm about to go into danger, I may as well be as well prepared as possible. Anything good open up at 14 by any chance? Just one level away until Gunslinger 3 for... Hang on, that'll be... Yeah, right now, non-automatic pistols. 20% more accurate, 10% greater range. To 20% greater range, yeah. Accuracy and range, because range is very important. 
I wouldn't mind having duck and cover too, purely for the throwing arc, so I could place explosives accurately. Actually, no, it has to be action, girl, because getting those action points back, that's got to be a priority, especially when I have lethargy and I don't know how long it's going to last. I did specifically mention I needed to take one of the action boy or action girl perks, so yeah, go on them. Okay, just slowly, slowly though, actually, while I'm passing through, uh, these bits and pieces do sometimes have fusion cells. Okay, fusion cells, and is that the same one or is that the other one? I think that's the same one. Okay. Round here, round here, round here. Oh! Robots! Now, robots sometimes good, robots sometimes bad. Hmm. Okay. Let's just actually get this out. If need be, I can literally run back to cover because Protectrons are slow. Hello! If you see me, what do you think about me? No, bad. Go, 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 go. When I say go, I really do mean it. All right, seriously, I don't mean hang around. Fine, don't bother. Robot. Oh, just leave me alone. Boo. Okay. So, uh, that's that's a no go. I mean, the that is one room and a basement in there. Though actually, if he's willing to follow me outside, maybe. Okay, when I say willing to follow me outside, as it turns out, very much still able to track me. Fine, I need to get out of here. If I head pretty much due north from where I am, he will lose me. And on top of that, I should still be far enough away from the gutsy, but now I'm stuck between two robots. That should be fine. Yeah, okay. Searching and the brackets are widening, that's fine. Like, the thing about Protectrons is they're so slow, he will not be able to track me down. That's the road down there. Okay. Other things in this area. There is... Uh, what is it? Green Top Nursery. There's Green Top Nursery that very often gives you the quest about break heart banks. Now, Green Top should be somewhere about... Uh, I think here, actually. I'm going to move the marker to there. And Break Heart is at the end of this road right here. So I need to not be heading north right now because I'll be heading straight into gutsy territory. Instead, I need to head directly to the west. Except, farms tend to be a bit of a bust. They're very unreliable. So there's no guarantee there's any food there. In fact, it almost seems unlikely there's food there. Farms just aren't a source of food, which does make you wonder what exactly those farms are for if there's no food there, but screw it. They're just kind of there for a theoretical future centuries down the line when there might be food there. And other things I need, I could do with... Yeah, let's have a couple of things set here. Um, That advanced pipe bomb, 300 damage. That plasma's 200 and 200. Molotov's only 100. Just in case it's just a couple of random scrappy lads, I'll have these Molotov sets. Okay, back to undetected. Should be, if I've got my map memory correct, 80 meters out from Green Top Nursery. Except it feels like that's not right. Actually, no, hang on, in survival mode, I think it's about 50 meters that things appear. And that is, yeah, that's the greenhouse. Fine. And I'll be, I'm on a road right now. But all peaceful, all quiet. Okay, yeah, pass by, hungry from lack of food. Okay, well, that one I can sort out. Ribeye steaks for days. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, sorry, it's still peckish after eating an entire bloody steak. Oh, I'm sorry, your majesty. Would you like a glass of rosé with that as well? Zoom around here. Now, do not go any closer than you have to till you've verified what lives here. Settler. Settler means peaceful. Okay, guns away. And we've got ourselves a cooking station. Don't need one of those. But Settler is peaceful. Now, there is a big greenhouse here. Like, if I had to guess... Hello! Mean you're going to be friends? I mean, if there was anything bad going on... Yes, hello there. Lovely. So, he's just here. And I can... Hopefully drop a save somewhere. Uh, we've got... Yeah, that will be a workshop I can't use. Chemistry station... Any chance of a spare bed? Hello! Obviously you don't want to talk to me because no one wants to talk to me. Rather, you want to just say generic things to me. I'd need to murder these people to have the beds off them. And I... Uh, do I want to do that? I don't really, to be honest. Let's just double check. No, not allied to the settlement. Unfortunately, 
Comments told me the only way to become allied to a settlement in this mode is rather than doing something for them, you basically just have to murder them. So that's a shame. That's a real shame because I'd rather not. I'd rather not waste the ammo, quite frankly. Yeah, here we are. Another big greenhouse and lots of planter stuff and not a single plant growing. <laughs> you guys are terrible, terrible homesteaders. Still, while I'm passing through, we've got, aha, we've got ourselves a bit of meat we can cook up and also the razor grain. As I know real, oh, I've got loads of mongrel meat, in fact, nice. Uh, and as I do indeed have dirty water and one razor grain, I can actually make a noodle cup, which is actually quite good, all things considered. Lovely. Right, you know what? This is actually going pretty well so far. Aside from the alcoholism, sorry, don't turn around. Sorry about the gun. I'm not planning to murder you. Spot on. So we'll just quickly basically go boom and then boom. And then just in case we need more, I'll put a second shot in. So boom, boom. Both of them dead. Lovely. Two shots, two corpses. I'm very sorry about that, by the way. Ooh, cow meat times two. That would vaguely suggest there might actually be like, you know, some cows around here. Uh, I don't need any of that. Ooh, corn and melon. And now I can use the workshop. Now I can just quickly lay down a bed. Marvellous. So one bed inside. Very, very good indeed. And someone flagged to me. They'll need to verify this is true because I strongly suspect this won't be true. Yeah, the vault tech sink, which of course infamously in the base game can be made with only three steel and yet produces purified water. Now what I read in the comments from someone was, okay fine, what that thing does is it doesn't actually let you drink purified water from it, but what it does let you do is convert bottles into purified water, like the sink we found in the mayoral shelter. Uh, the problem is, do I have any bottles at this exact moment in time? I don't think I do, and unfortunately this is all bloody cans and not one bottle. Yep, no bottles. Well, what I will do is I'll drop a save here, because this has gone pretty well so far, so I'm happy to have a save here. That'll actually make me feel a lot better about life. Uh, so just drop, uh, you know what, I'll just drop a single hour. That's absolutely fine. The booze has worn off, so I need to either do some more or drop some stuff. Now here's something else that someone said to me, and this one I don't flipping believe. Over in the chemistry station, someone suggested to me that you could produce antibiotics by using, uh, hang on, yeah, you could use four stim packs and convert them into antibiotics. And I don't believe that, no. No, I thought not. One, you need chemist, and two, you need purified water glowing fungus and acid. So no, I cannot just make my own antibiotics. I will, however, gladly convert that actual, hang on, where were you? Yep, that cow meat into more ribeye steak. So, food... I'm sorted for days. Water, not so much. If I could just find a couple of bottles, possibly I am. But remember, I've now got this settlement here. Still, probably no time to hang around. Best we get on. I've dropped a save now, so I feel pretty damn secure. Right. Next destination in that case. Probably best we head for... Yeah, we're still heading for this area over here. But if I head north at this point, join up with the road, I could peer down to Breakheart Banks just to see what's going on down there. So that's probably for the best. And something is alive not too far from here. Okay, and I want to save ammo if I can, because I don't know exactly what's going to be at that bunker. But there were mentions of vertebrates, and there were mentions of US Army Remnant. So there's a very real possibility. Ah, that's wolves. Wolves aren't so bad, to be honest. Uh, I could loop around them this way, or I could try and get to the... No, it's probably best I loop around them this way, because if I loop around them this way, then I'm staying away from the road, and I'm not being pushed towards the... the gutsy. Yeah, there's the wolves up there. That'll be fine. If I just drop down here, head around this way... I'm like, I don't need the wolf meat right now. I've got so much food right now. In all fairness, like, killing more stuff for more food would just be a waste, because I'm actually struggling for the... Uh-oh. That colour of the sky. That colour of the sky means storm. Okay, what else am I close to? That's the gullet. Uh-oh. 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 Right. Well, I'm glad I spotted you when I spotted you. I guess we'll just take some headshots against you, though. Boom. And you got one bite in. And two will finish you off. Anything else? No, not yet. If you got a bite and it was a very light one, screw it, I'll take that. You see, that's why I don't need that. 
this looks really green to me. And that unnerves me. Because where's the nearest indoor area? Hang on. This looks really green. Like, it's a proper storm. I don't know where the nearest proper in... Actually, in offense, we've had a couple of flashes. We've had a couple of flashes and I haven't seen rads ticking up. Suggesting that's just a deer. Uh, that would be a nice to have, but ignore it. Okay. I think it's a fake storm. Alright, even though it looks pretty darn green... I think it's not a real rad storm. Now, hang on. What did I see a second ago? I saw... Hang on. What's that? Oh, hang on. That's the mass fusion something something building. What's there in the base game? Oh, I can't remember. But if it's mass fusion and containment... Oh. Badly damaged survivor. Interesting. On your own? Seems so. I'll just... Okay, seriously? Are you just going <sighs> to... Uh, aiming in this game. There we go. Now you're dead. Ah, here we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is... Yeah, that's that right there. Like, to me, containment building suggests ghouls. That suggests bad. Just do a quick spin. That's not detecting anything. Okay. Okay, well, actually... Whatever's... Oh! That's a mannequin. That is a mannequin. Everything's under control. It's fine. We've got... Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Back off. Fine. Okay. Uh, ghouls or some form of rads in general. Screw it. Give it a wide berth. Don't care. Not worth it. Just work around it. Work around it. Work around it. Where am I right now, by the way? Pretty good position, actually. If I head pretty much just due north from where I am, I hit my custom marker, and then I'm at the crossroads. This area seems quite enough. There's a dog up there. Two dogs. Okay, that's fine. I think I know what to do with you. Yeah, Molotov's already set. A well-placed Molotov and just a couple of follow-up bullets will do for them. Or I could just avoid them. I mean, they might not be interested in fighting. Uh, mildly dehydrated. Oh, good. That's already gone to hell. So, about there. That's a good shot. That's a nice shot right over there. And boom. And that should be you. Dead. And dead. Nice. Okay. Dogs are worth a weirdly large amount of XP, by the way. <laughs> like, a really oddly large amount of XP compared to some other stuff. And the storm has faded. There's the back door, but no, I, I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested in that at all. Uh, the water situation is going to get bad again. If I could find some bottles, I could take them back to... Yeah, Green Top Nursery. No, that's actually... That's a doe. Okay. This road should lead me straight down, but I don't want to approach directly. I'd rather just see down. Okay, okay. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. I've got a recent save. This is fine. Alright. Yeah. Okay. The crossroads is actually surprisingly quiet. I was expecting chaos here. Because this is a logical place you'd come through to get to the bunker. It actually looks very quiet around here. And I'm not sure there really is likely to be a vertebrate, because while they said vertebrate in the notes, there's no landing point for a vertebrate around there. Not a likely one, as far as I can tell. And if it is a vertebrate, I think my plan is, I've got one stealth boy. I could basically just try and stealth boy in, and by the way, I should totally go over to, yeah, this. Let's go over to this. This has got a, yeah, that's got a reflex scope on it. In terms of DPS, this is my highest weapon. This is easily my best weapon, in fact, because it can fire damn fast. Is that... Is that part of Parsons over there? Because Parsons Insane Asylum and Parsons Creamery is somewhere in that sort of direction. In the base game, this road's got itself two mutants at the end, but obviously no mutants here. Not yet. They don't exist in Frost. Oh. Well, obviously. <laughs> it's my favourite thing in the world! Ferals! Now it would appear I'm heading straight at the bunker. How am I looking at here? Couple of ferals. But neither of them flagged as dangerous. Okay, I might just go over to an explosive to clear them out if I can. That will be easier. Okay, just get a little bit closer here. 
a little bit closer. Yeah, two right there. Fine. And one pipe bomb about there. And that did nothing. Okay, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Right, so you can just go down. And if we get lucky, you're dead. And your friend can also just die to the same sort of business, please. I could just one shot. No, save the crit. Save the damn crit. Oh. Whoa, okay, got lucky there. Because I missed with that shot. Remember, the problem with these guys is you've got really, really, really limited VAT shots. Okay, but that was lucky. <laughs> that was a pure lucky headshot at the end of that. Marvellous. Uh, okay, and unfortunately, I didn't get the aim right with the advanced pipe bomb. Now, whatever's going on here, it seems pretty calm. I mean, normally, I would have expected that explosion to draw the attention... IED. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. I think we should just basically get close enough to reliably hit it. But I'm not taking the risk with it. Okay. And there was another one there as well. That has not drawn anything's attention. Back out. Okay. So whatever's here, it's defended. Now, what can I see? And the answer is... Is that a vertebrate hidden behind that rock? Because if it is, I'm going to be really sad about life in general right now. Because is that... Oh! Hang on. No! Themis! Well, colour me surprised. I mean, what have Themis got to do with this? That's just weird. Hang on. How strong are you guys? Flimsy. Flimsy is anything. Right. Two shots will do you. Right. Dead and silenced. Okay, this is a lot... Wait, it's already open. Why is it... Wait, what? I thought the whole point was I needed the password to get inside. Possibly the passwords to... No, there's no elevator here. The elevator's at Bravo. Wait, what? Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe finding the note that gives you the password. Like, that's not actually what opens it. Maybe that's... all baseball grenade. I'll take that. Thank you. Maybe the door is opened remotely when you find that password. So US Army Remnant, fine. US Army Remnant again. Let's just zoom the camera around here. And yeah, if I interact with that screen, it'll knock me out of sneak because it always does. Well, if you're going to give me a baseball grenade, I'll have a baseball grenade. Now, can I actually fit through this door or do I need to technically open the door more? Okay, wait. 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 Oh. Right. That didn't actually successfully kill anyone. Which is mildly irritating, given it was an explosive. Right. Head back in. Careful. Oh, it's an inaccessible terminal regardless. Fine. I think they must have forced the door. Are you at least injured? There's... Okay, you're a little bit injured. Right. Boom. Dead one. Okay, round the corner. Dead two. Right, undetected. Right, well this is... This is not what I was expecting. Like, I was expecting problems here. Like, severe problems. Like, you know, a vertebrate and something, something, something. And obviously this... Ah, that's what I need the passcode for. Uh, also, if you'd like to give me... Wait, was that... <gasps> Oh, gosh darn it, it wasn't. It said antiseptic, not antibiotics. Well, that's just not bloody helpful to me. Okay, overdrive, nothing major. Uh, if any of you would like to have bottles on you, that'd be good. One dirty bomb. I'll take it, but I'll be nervous about using it because I feel like that could just boomerang and kill me just as bloody easily. Okay, yeah, what else do we have here? Nothing much, and I don't need that fusion core, which apparently would be stealing. I'm not sure who from exactly, but it would be. And also, 5.56. I have literally nothing that uses that. Right, so we've made it to a bit of actual plot, which is impressive and much faster than I was expecting. Right, well, let's see what's up next then.
So, three bits of information here. An interview transcript, presumably with the person that they kidnapped from the Liberty Six and brought here for interrogation, which will be something to do with the technology, whatever it is. Following is an audio to text transcript between Major Arthur Gannon and Alias Iscariot. Okay, what's your relationship to Troy Bishop? Were smugglers traffic questionable packages for questionable people. He was the head of the operation. I just handled the books. Where is HRD4, the code name for the thing we're after, of course? I don't understand the question. You said you handled the books. You had direct knowledge of every package on board the Columbia. One of those packages was marked HRD4. I don't know the specific item tag. We, we... The crew suspected Bishop was holding out on us, smuggling a little extra on the side, taking the full profits for himself. Turns out he was. I snuck into his cabin and found some sketchy documents that mentioned an unmarked package and a specific drop point, the Liberty Six. So what happened after you met Bishop at the drop point? The plan was to kill him, finish the job ourselves with equal shares. Thing is, we never found his package, probably still on the Columbia for all I know. We just figured he'd taken it and made off without us. When we got there, he was as clueless as we were. Where's the Columbia? Hell if I know. Where is the Columbia? Look, pal, I've told you everything I know. Can't expect me to remember exactly where I was in the middle of a nuclear tsunami. Administer the procedure. Okay, this concludes the interview. Please escort him outside. But that, doesn't that contradict a note we saw from him earlier? Didn't, hang on, yeah, a note that we found on Bishop's body, didn't that say that this guy had shown up saying that he knew where the package was? Ah, unless he was lying to get Bishop to resurface. Fine. So, it would appear, potentially, the truth is that Iscariot was lying to Bishop about the package being recovered from the Columbia. It's still out there. So that puts my most likely ultimate destination on a boat. And one person, who actually several people, did raise a really interesting possibility, which is, of course, the source of the package was marked as Oslo, which does seem to have potentially a rather interesting connection to that big old ship with the Norwegian ghouls right down at the south of the map. So I strongly suspect that's where we're going in the end, but can't be sure yet. And, unfortunately, that doesn't actually give us a new lead. Personal notes here. It's been two months, we've had no headway with this thing. Higher-ups are starting to get edgy. They'd reassign me to site R to spend my days picking through rocks and writing studies on cockroach mutations. My place is back west with Beth. I just need more time. Ah, hang on. Beth. This is the same guy who was writing the note we found at the... The Coast Guard place, right? Because there was a note there, but there was also a terminal that we didn't have the password for. So I'm guessing we need to... Ah, maybe we'll get the password for that terminal, and next we'll be heading back down to the Coast Guard, and then that will give us our next clue. That would be useful, potentially. And sadly, Gannon didn't actually know what the package he's searching for actually is. I'm close to acquiring one of the smugglers that brought it ashore, and though it's not strictly speaking part of the mission, I plan on covering the nature of Hotel Romeo, HR, the same thing we heard about before. Interviews confirm my suspicion that Hotel Romeo is a form of biological weapon. Use of photonic resonance generators confirmed in separate findings. Photonic resonance generators... What's that ring a bell? I can't place it, though. How this would benefit a biological weapon is uncertain. Use in conventional explosives could be evidence for enhanced EMP or electrical pulse weaponization. Possible false information. Interviews to be recorded to later date to test for accuracy. Okay, so we know it's on the Columbia, potentially, and unfortunately he's uncooperative, so we don't know. Requesting transfer to Surveillance Center K21B. K21B, K21B. Hang on, does that ring a bell? Hmm, have a think about that. The militant organisation Recon Squad Alpha Romeo encountered last month, codenamed Themis. Ah! Themis. Intriguing. Fine, has finally dipped into our district. Alpha Romeo's reports tell us the group is highly organised, though they have yet to acquire significant stockpiles of weaponry. General Eaton's decision is that RS Alpha Romeo will continue to surveil Themis operatives for the time being, will not engage unless fired upon. Okay. Intriguing. A militant organisation. Okay, so the Themis cultists started off as just a bunch of 
yeah, gun hoarding survivalists, and then they've gone a bit feral over time. This doesn't actually give me anything, does it? There is just one, though. Specific documentation transferred to Surveillance Center K21B. What's K21B? Why does that ring a bell? I've just remembered why K21B sounds familiar, and it's not good news. But it's sort of the news I guess I should have expected sooner or later, because... Of course, this bloody mod with its obsession with rats was going to do this sooner or later. K21B is the name of the secret facility that's buried under the flipping shack in the glowing sea, where there's a bunch of synths in the base game. On the plus side, it's not even that far away from where I've been before. I've been to the Boston Mayoral Shelter before, from there, it's just a question of cutting through this area that's a few buildings and I think one of the police stations. Then, we're into... I don't even think it's that actually far in, like, uh, the game could have been nastier. Like, there's a bunch of ridiculously stupid stuff, like, that's off the edge of the map over here. It could have gone for. So, it won't involve that much of a run into the rads. It's like, I don't know, here-ish. Let's just, let's say it's here. For the time being. Let's just put the marker there for the time being and say it's somewhere in that sort of area. Towards the edge of the glowing sea. Not so bad. I can basically get in the glowing sea, sprint there, get underground, and then get back out again. I've already got pretty good rad resistance, but I may need more. Honestly, the distance, just as the crow flies, between the Boston Mayoral Shelter and that is not even that bad. And it also has one other advantage. Which is, if I'm here... I need to go in this direction. That does bring me pretty much straight back flipping home. So we've made our journey north and honestly we've had a slightly easier time than I was expecting. But if we're heading in that direction, I would not mind swinging round first to the west. We've been told about Concord. I think I overheard some raiders doing some incidental dialogue which is what's put that on the map. I would not mind swinging back in this direction. And the reason for that is purely Sunshine Tidings. Sunshine Tidings, which is uh, here-ish, I think about there. I wouldn't mind swinging there for the double meat. Though admittedly, meat is not the biggest problem right now. But by the time I get there, it probably will be again. So I should probably do that. But on the plus side, this has all gone surprisingly smoothly. Uh, except for the water situation. The water situation is not great. Let's just drop a save here. Then... We can be on our way. And I'm not tired yet, so screw it. Just do a single hour. And... Okay. No more sick than I was before. Marvellous. Any chance of the game spawning anything? No, actually. Seems calm. Uh, so. In this direction, if I head due west, I'm pretty much right at the top of the map right now. Outpost Zimonja is somewhere around here. Of course, in the base game, there's that bastard in the power armor who's got the nuke launcher. Whether he's still around or not is questionable. Uh, hopefully he's not. Hopefully not. Can I skip around the outside of the top of this water, by the way? Uh, I'm probably really close to the bit of the map where it just starts saying, No, just just turn back, you stupid bastard. You're not allowed to be where you currently are. Uh, no, I can just, just get through here. And I actually like this bit of the map. This bit of the map seems quiet for now, at least. Okay, and then... Never mind, let's go up this little trail then. Yeah, this part of the world is very quiet. Very, very quiet indeed. Potentially, ah, there we go. <laughs> Definitely can't go that way. Fine, so we are pretty much right at the edge of the map here. But potentially being right at the edge of the map is not the worst thing in the world. Potentially maybe right at the edge of the map is ever so slightly quieter than other bits of the map. <laughs> Might be advantageous, quite frankly. Now, I see a big overpass over there. What's that going to be? Because Zamonja's close by. Yeah, here we go. Zamonja is close by to a big overpass, if I recall correctly. So, in fact, I think it's just past one. So, I'm pretty sure right now, past Penis Lake here, we're heading straight towards Zamonja. And then beyond that is the road that leads round to Glitch Quarry. Beyond that, Concord. And beyond that, what I originally said as my very first destination before I realised it was an actual bloody plot and I was actually vaguely interested in making it happen. Yeah. Vault 111 and Sanctuary. Thing is... Oof. I've only got one 10mm bullet left. Marvellous. Oh. Hello. That is... That's a wolf. 
Okay, that's a little bit more dangerous. Actually, ammo's getting scarce. That's going to become a problem at some point. Uh, one wolf over there. Okay, fine. We'll just take you out nice and quick. And boom. And if you guys would just like to hold still for one second, a single body shot will do against you. So, shot number one. And just shoot the... No, stop paying attention to that one. He's already dead. Thank you. Luckily, this rifle is an absolute flipping beast. Big old tower there, fine. If that's unless that's a radio tower. I don't think there's a radio tower in this part of the world, is there? I don't remember one. If there is, there's just no. Don't drink that water. That water feels like bad water. If you have to take a drink from just random water, maybe not that. Survive that. Yeah, you see. There you bloody say. I had a feeling that might be the case. I had a feeling that if there was going to be one enemy that survived the changes of this mod, it was going to be asshole in power armor who's probably carrying a fat man. Head north. Work around him. I don't want to head south. Uh, depends how close to the edge of the map I am, however. Looks like I've got a little bit of leeway yet. Yeah, I think it should be fine. If I just head a little bit further north... And then skirt west around the outside. But would you believe I've decided I don't want to fight Power Armor Nuke Launcher Man. That's just not a thing that's going to happen, unfortunately. And I've just become tired as well. Because though I've actually run into a few beds, so far what I've done every time is just drop an hour of sleep. So unfortunately, tiredness is starting to creep in. I don't think I've got any nuka. So in which case, hmm, questions. Where's the nearest bed going to be? Probably the nearest and easiest bed would be... Well, actually, this is interesting. There's... Oh, is this... Is that a rat barrel? No, apparently not. There's a shack here, but the brackets are perfectly still. I mean, I remember there was an abandoned shack in the base game, but I kind of figured it would be populated in this mode. Okay, nice. We might have to be able to get some sleep here. And four fusion cells. That's genuinely very useful. Right. Have a little luxe here. And yeah, this looks down on Zamonja. Can be a good sniper spot. Hmm. Anything else worth having? Looks pretty quiet to me. Yeah, pretty quiet in fact. I think everything else is fine. And there's Captain Bastard down there. Right, I might sleep through the night right here. Now, I'm going to regret that because that's going to make me thirsty. But I need to shift the tiredness, and I could do a dropping a save. Assuming I'm allowed to. Am I? Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Wait. This is a very fussy bed. There we go. Yeah. Screw it. I'm going to drop nine hours here. We'll continue at ten to six tomorrow morning. That'll do. And I'm hungry from lack of food, and I feel ill weakness. I thought I already had weakness. Hang on. I swear weakness was one I already had. Possibly that just means I haven't shifted it. Because some illnesses do just go away after long enough. Yeah, I'm suffering from lethargy and weakness. But I swear I already had both of those. Still, no problem on the food front. Just eat a quick steak. And that there may be two steaks. The breakfast of champions. And with a handful more action points in hand. And a bright new day. Continue the journey west. Literally skirting around the very edge of the map. Which seems to be working. Now, things I need to look out for. There'll be Outpost Olivia somewhere. At some point I'll be heading in that direction. What's... Is that the edge of Concord? That can't be the edge of Concord already. No, I'm miles off Concord. Hang on, that's... Where would Olivia be? I mean, that feels like... I mean, wherever Olivia is... There's a massive great satellite dish sticking out the top of it. Like, that feels like a thing it would be very hard for me to miss, but I can't see it. Which is interesting. Also, maybe that's not what I think I'm seeing. I mean, I think I'm looking at buildings, but maybe I'm just looking at rock formations through mist and going mad. I'm going to be honest, of the many qualities I possess, and there are many, perception is not known to be... The best thing. No, that's not a town. I'm just making up a town that doesn't exist in front of me. Marvellous. More wolves over there. Let's just skirt around them, however. Because I don't need the food and I'd rather not waste the ammo. So, head down over here. 
loop around this way. Keep this ridge between me and them. Yeah, the game seems to like using wolves as an enemy. Normally, of course, you don't really... In fact, I'm not sure you find these in the base game anywhere. I think they're purely for a far harbour. Uh, but the game's also taken out a few enemies. Like, I've noticed I haven't seen a single mole rat yet. Which I approve of as a change. And something's around here. Quite probably just more cocking wolves. Uh, just loop around this way. Am I heading towards it? I might just be heading towards it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice there. The sun coming up. And now that, that is a building. Am I coming up on Ten Pines Bluff here? I am. And that's a settler. Nice. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, except when I say good, 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 you're suddenly looking angry. Why are you looking angry? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Marvellous. Now, I may need to kill both of you as well, to be honest. I'd rather not, you know, really, all things being equal. Uh, but I might have to. Hmm, we'll see. Uh, if you've got any bottles, I definitely will, because I need to potentially, like, you know, try setting up one of those sink things and seeing if I can convert bottles into that. Aha! Cooking station. I swear I've got some actual meat. I'm not allied to this. I don't actually care whether I'm allied. I'm going to use their cooking station regardless. Not a single bottle here. I can do without. I haven't really done that much so far. I'm pretty happy all dehydrated, though. Okay. I think the priority is rapidly becoming get to Sanctuary Hills and figure out what's there. I think someone said in the comments, like, it was mostly empty. There was just, like, one guy who's guarding it with a rifle or something. So, if I could get there, there's enough stuff there that there must be some bottles. Get the bottles, build the actual, um, yeah, the vault sink thing. And then, if that can be converted into purified water, then I'm okay. But right now, I'm literally one step shy of being in trouble. Yeah, that, that could be bad. I need to avoid severe dehydration. In fact, if I head in this direction, just head literally to here, that lets me pass, yeah, that'll be close by to Olivia, pass through the junkyard, then I can just skirt around the outside of the river to get my sanctuary. We're pretty much already there. In fact, Olivia must be somewhere around. Why can I not see a giant satellite dish? All right, it's very hard to hide a giant satellite dish. There it is. There's the cocking massive dish. And did I just hear an explosion? Okay. Possibly. There's a fight going on here. I've got close enough to Olivia to cause its actors to spawn in. And when its actors spawned in, some of them decided to attack each other. Bunch of rats. Okay. Skirt around the outside of Olivia. No need to cause trouble here. Alright, very happy to just keep my distance. And I've been found. By what exactly? By a survivor? And oh, no, by you! Sorry, I didn't realise you were literally right there. Sorry, did you just take a... Stop taking shots! I do not have enough ammo for this bi Oh, screw everything. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, bloodying hell! What the cock was that? It's fine. This is why we have surgical kits. Right, go, 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 go. What the bloody hell just exploded, though? I don't know exactly what the bloody hell just exploded, but something did. Will you stop chasing me? Seriously? Cut it the hell out. I can't. There's not enough. Right, I don't have enough. This is embarrassing. This is actually embarrassing. Right, I need to just stand and fight with a cocking sword. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All of you. Will everyone stop, like, firing? I don't know what you're firing at me. Someone's found me. And someone fired something ridiculously massive and powerful. And I don't like it. And now I'm just running, screaming into the wilderness. Right, how about now? Whoever it is, it's now... Yeah, I think a survivor over there had like a nuke launcher or something. Just go. Just get some distance between me and him. Okay. Yes. Maybe. I think I'm approaching Glitch Quarry. I think we're in close by to the summit of Glitch Quarry. Where's that bastard now? Right. Okay. <laughs> just keep in mind, 
some people just have I don't know well actually in that bit of the um the base game what there is right there is oh I think I've bypassed the rubbish area I think that's over there yeah there's there's the the trash heap over there I could go and visit that but I don't know whether it's safe to be honest yeah in the base game there's mole rats that have got like frag mines tied to them they might have just been replaced with rad rats with mines tied to them I'm not sure Right, give myself a blood pack and a bandage to help recover a bit. That gets some of my health coming back at least. And there's a deer and more rats over there. In fact, what well, looks like, yeah, loads of rats. Apparently, this whole part of the map is just rat central, which I could do without to be put. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a giant swarm of rats over there. Hmm idea. Still got one Molotov cocktail. Big explosive could clear them out, but probably safest not to bother. I mean, they're rats. Rat steak is not particularly good food. How about I just step my way down here? We've almost made it to our destination, quite frankly. We've almost made it back to Sanctuary. And I'm guessing, well, 111 is just closed up, but might be worth a look. And the world around here... Seems pleasantly quiet. But yeah, I'm expecting... I'm expecting somebody. I'm expecting somebody inside Sanctuary Hills. Because the comments were implying that. I've also just remembered I've got the Noodle Cup. Which will actually help me out with both healing and hunger and thirst. Sadly, didn't actually move me up to mildly dehydrated. But screw it, it will slow down. Oh, and the melon too. The melon's good. There we flipping go, mildly dehydrated, absolutely perfect. And while I'm passing by, there is of course, the circuit breaker. And the mysterious box up here. Now in the base game, that's a guaranteed spawn of a 44 pistol. Maybe it's fine. Oh, a mole rat! We haven't seen your like around here recently, blimey. Uh, open up the lid. Money, money, and money. I shouldn't have done that. Like, my, you know, my first prediction should have been, okay, there'll just be a proximity bomb hidden in it. Ooh. Okay. It is still there. Nice. Uh, just be very calm, because I don't want to upset mole rats, obviously. Take the bottles. Take everything. That's fine. And I think there's more here, but I don't want to hang around. I don't want to hang around. Especially when I'm overweight. Let's just get away from the mole rats, back down to the shore, which seemed a lot quieter. I've got myself a new gun and some free bullets for it. We'll just use that, then we'll toss it away. Yeah, nothing special about it, completely 100% standard, but it'll do the job. 46 damage is not nothing. Right, I think I just saw a deer over here, but doesn't seem to be particularly fussed with me. So just, oh, searching. What's searching? Hello? Okay. Possibly. Something on the far side of the water. Like, say, a man with a rifle trying to guard sanctuary. Hello! Sorry, my mistake! Just quickly take you down. One bullet will do the job there. Right, back to searching. No point in reloading, because this is literally all we got. Uh, ignore that. Food is fine for the minute. Back to undetected. Okay. There's Sanctuary Hills. There's home. Probably not home for this character, but home. That's lovely. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just through the bushes. Killed a dog. And rather reassuringly, it feels like the game hasn't been fiddling with the local wildlife roster in this part of the world, because we've seen dogs in the right places. We've seen mole rats in the right places. And that suggests to me, there's not suddenly just gonna be a surprise death claw inside Sanctuary. All the people who played Frost are like, yeah, he doesn't know about the surprise death claw in Sanctuary. He was, ha ha ha, he's going to be so surprised. And there's also this bag up here. Hang on. Ooh. IED. Okay, and obviously that puts me actually over capacity, because why wouldn't it? And actually, that's 12 bullets and a sniper rifle, albeit probably without a sight. Hang on. Short scope. Oh, 20 damage. 
Yeah, you know what? I think I'm good without. Oh my, but this is intriguing too. Double stim pack on this guy together with a shotgun and .38. You see, this is why you lost to a dog. It's because you were trying to put .38 in a shotgun and that's not how shotguns work. All right. Into Sanctuary Hills. Be very, very aware that this place was specifically flagged to me as dangerous. Have a little look see around here. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Who wants to cause trouble with me today? Because I have got a really, really high-powered rifle. Also, will this... Oh. Okay. So, to all the people who said, Oh, go to Sanctuary Hills. There's just one guy guarding it. Okay. So, ghouls. Because, obviously, there's ghouls. Because you're all bastards and I hate you. Um, actually, double frag grenade, nice. Now the question is, what can I do here? Yeah, I know I've discovered sanctuary. And I'm increasingly suspicious that I'm going to regret it. Because, oh, okay, one rad roach. Unfortunately, at this point, hang on, no, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. Go. I'm apparently terrible with this. Okay, fine. Um... There are rad roaches in all the traditional places. So remember where that is. And use your melee weapons because bloody hell. Yeah, where's that ghoul? Where's the ghoul I just saw over there? Fine. So all the bugs are in their traditional bloody places. That means... Actually, if this plays by normal old sanctuary rules, then what that means is... Yeah, the mirrors could be an excellent source of bobby pins. And bobby pins in this mode are really, really in short supply. Uh, there's some money. Right. House to house. Careful. Is there a single bed in this place? I don't think there's a single bed before you actually build the beds. I think that's just how that is. Okay. Codsworth is there, except he's just a... Okay, well, right now he's a Mr. Handy marked in green. All right, I'm not necessarily convinced that's going to last. This house has... Hang on, didn't this house have something in it? Oh, balls. Now I'm trying to remember what does and doesn't have bugs in it. I mean, I know there's the house over there and the house around there. Those are the two that Codsworth takes you to. But then there's other bugs in other houses as well. Uh, and I'm trying to remember exactly where... I'm okay, I'd just rather not be taken by surprise. I don't really want to lose the... Hmm, schematics. Okay, that's intriguing. That's not normally a thing. Question two, if that is a friendly Mr. Handy, would he potentially be willing to help me take out the ghoul? There's an empty milk bottle. Right, more bottles. Yeah, there's the rad roach. Okay. Okay, let's just get that out of the way here. Can I see you round over here? A bloat flies a thing yet? I don't know if bloat flies are a thing yet. And go and... That is a tough little rad rush. They're not kidding. Those bastards are tough. Uh, right, okay. There's one there. There might be another one coming. Uh, I think I just saw it run out of the door, actually. So I think, okay, just for the moment we're fine. And there's a bottle. I need the bottles. The bottles are good. Well, one of the rad roaches naffed off. And now I've completely lost him. So I don't know where he's got himself to. This house is clear. We're literally just clearing this place out house to house right now. Okay, and be prepared to go over to something else the moment we need to. And, oh, What? I've just completed survive. Have I? Does that mean I'm now immortal? That would be really bloody convenient. Hang on, what does that mean? Yep, yeah, I've woken up and I've survived. Technically, was that quest supposed to be about getting back here? Because it hasn't given me a new thing to do. This is... That was odd. I mean, I feel like I'm not quite done surviving yet. I mean, you're right. I have survived for technically some period of time, but that's just weird. Can I have a thousand XP for successfully surviving, please? That'd be lovely. It's really you. Well, that's actually vaguely implying that I am playing as the same character as 
Right. Well, that's interesting. So other people could still be alive too. Yeah, but they're basically old bastards. Have you learnt nothing from the last few months? As you know what, I will take a free 17 XP by just basically having the completely impossible to fail yellow check with Codsworth here. Because we're having a nice conversation about my dead husband and Sean, all of which is news to me. Shall we search the neighbourhood together? Yes, we absolutely should. If you're willing to help me clear out this place, that'd be marvellous. Thank you so, so much. Right, let's let this bloody robot, who I've only just met but apparently know very well, lead the way. That'd be marvellous. And where's the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Codsworth. Codsworth. We found a survivor. Let him. Let him get up there. Let him get up there. And... Dead. Nice. Okay. There was a guy up on the roof. Good. There was a guy up on the roof. <laughs> Thank you for not lying about that, people. Even if you did... Well, hang on. Where was the ghoul, then? Did that guy maybe kill the ghoul? And what happened to the... The bugs in... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Codsworth. Codsworth, we might have problems here. Which is to say, something was causing rats. Over there. And now, are you hiding from it? Because that is not bloody convenient. And also, how do I get up to... Aha! I get up to here. And this, I'm guessing, the bloody ferals will not be able to follow... Let's see what... Ooh! Oh my! Well, this guy apparently has a really, really good rifle. Hang on, how much power does that have? That thing's going to be... Ooh! Actually, you know what? It's not even that much better than my 308. It's it's not. It's, it's okay, and it's pretty good. But if I recall correctly, yeah, that's pretty heavy in terms of ammunition. I'll take the 308. But I will, for the time being, I'll leave this here. Or maybe I'll come and collect it and drop it off in, uh, yeah, drop it off inside a box down the line. And also, don't forget I've got the snub-nosed. Because the snub-nosed will be quite useful for actually, you know, just using and then throwing away. Also, this roof texture is weird. And we've got, aha, wait, wait, wait. I just saw... I just saw the movement in there. Alright, seriously. Codsworth and guy who had sniper rifle on roof. We've got a problem. <laughs> Where the heck have they actually got themselves to? I think Codsworth is currently kind of vaguely interfering with the ghouls. Uh, but if that's what's going on, I'm happy to basically just leave them to it. Because the ghouls seem to be... I think they just live down that side. You know what? That's fine. They can live down there. Can I live here? Oh my goodness, I can. Well, that's bloody convenient. Right, well, screw the ghouls. Don't you care about them because something much more important is here, which is furniture miscellaneous. And let's just let the rest of it load in there. Yeah, okay. One sink. I can just build that here. Screw the rest of it. Okay. Get out of here. And uh, no, don't, don't store the sink. That's not what I want. Okay, now. Time to test this. Fill the bottle. Please let this be correct. And Nuka Cola bottle. <gasps> it's true. Oh my flipping goodness. Right. That is two bottles of purified water. Right there. Stay away from the ghouls who live down there. Because I've already cleared out this half of town. And I can turn this place into a settlement. And activate the settlement builder. Right now. So why would I bother going to deal with the ghouls who seem to be living down that side of town? Screw those bastards. I don't actually care. One of the nice to have, however, would be the Your Special Book. Nice. Okay, hang on. Um, ooh. What's worth boosting the most? Okay, agility would be nice for the action points, but I also feel like... Actually, some endurance. Just some endurance for bonus hit points or strength for the carry. Ooh, that's an interesting choice. Yeah, I'm going to take the endurance. Let's just take a little bit more survivability. Nice. Oh, I'm glad we've made this little trip. This has been a good little trip already. Anything good in this mirror, by the way? Just banded scissors. That's not so good. Okay. Now we just sneak out of here. Also, just help myself to grognack the barbarian. Which is completely worthless to me, but screw it. And then, basically, just say, Alright, ghouls live that side of the street. Normals live this side of the street. Everything's cool. 
More bottles, more sinks. Continue just basically converting bottles into purified water. Okay, this here, this is a new lease of life. Right, that gets me to thirsty. But also to check one other thing that was mentioned to me. If I drink, it's still like the actual one I found down in the bunker. It's still, yeah, it's still ratty. It's still ratty water unless you use it to fill bottles, in which case it's not. Which is ridiculous, but that's just how things are. In fact, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing... That's a milk bottle. Yoink. Oh my goodness, I'm properly hydrated. I'm actually properly hydrated. Oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say we... Codsworth. Cods... Yep. Codsworth is actually leading the feral ghouls on a little dance through the... <laughs> this is a silly place, but I'm glad we came here. I'd say let's call it a part here, but I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made. We've found the next big destination of the plot, and we've made it back here. Apparently, I've successfully survived, <laughs> despite the conga line of ghouls following Codsworth outside. It's absolutely fine. So, as for next week... The journey south begins. We should probably head, yeah, through Concord, potentially pick up a whole bunch of bottles and potentially some more boots because there's a bar in Concord. So swing through Concord and then make our way south to Sunshine Tidings. After we've got the magazine there, we're probably going to want to actually swing back into town and make a visit to Hangman's Alley. Though actually, in all fairness, I can probably just make everything at Sunshine Tidings, so... There's probably not much point. We might just head directly straight on south. Maybe make a stop off at the Boston Mayoral Shelter to convert all my bottles into actual purified water. And then, the journey towards the bloody glowing sea, because of course we're going towards the bloody glowing sea. Why wouldn't we, eh? So, we will pick that up next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me.